All right, welcome to Integral Physics. Today we're taking a look at a statics problem which is real common in both physics and engineering. And that is the situation of a block which is hanging from two uneven strings. And what we're gonna be doing in this situation is solving for the tension in each of the strings. Now to solve for the two tensions in these two cables, all we need to do is apply Newton's second law to this situation in both the x and y axes. See, we know this block is not going to accelerate horizontally. And so if we take a look at Newton's second law in the x-axis, we know the net force is going to be zero. That is to say, there is no acceleration of the block horizontally. And we see a similar situation in the y-axis. Now, if we're gonna try to apply this situation to Newton's second law in both the x and y axes, we need to make sure we have a complete free body diagram here. Now, you'll notice I've shown these two tensions acting upward on this block, but there's also gravity acting straight downward on the block. So now with a complete free body diagram, we can start to apply the situation to these two conditions which must be met in order to keep the block static or hanging still. So starting in the x-axis, there's no single force which is entirely horizontal, but I want you to realize both T1 and T2 are acting partially in the horizontal axis and partially in the vertical axis. See, these tension forces are both vectors, and so we can look at them as having both horizontal and vertical components. Now, what we need to do is establish a positive direction here, and so what we're gonna do in this problem is do what we typically do, and that is say, up and to the right are positive. So in actually applying these forces to Newton's second law, we'll see, T1x is acting to the left, so it's negative. T2x is acting to the right, so it's gonna be positive. And those two forces need to add up to zero. In the y-axis, we see a similar situation, except now we're concerned with the vertical components of these forces. And because we're talking about the vertical forces, we now have to worry about gravity because gravity is entirely in the y-axis. So starting with T1, we're gonna have T1y, which this time is positive because this T1 has a vertical component, which is upward. Then we're gonna have T2y, which is also upward, so it's positive. And last, we have the force by gravity downward. And the next thing we need to do here is use a little bit of right triangle trig to relate these components that we see within our expressions back to what we're actually trying to solve for, that is T1 and T2. So first, relating T1x back to T1. And T2x back to T2. We can substitute these values into our expression up here. And we come up with this expression relating T1 and T2 within the x-axis. What you'll notice with this equation is we have two unknowns, so we're not able to solve for either of them. But looking over here in the y-axis, we're going to do a similar thing to what we did in the x-axis, and that is expand out these two terms. And we're also going to solve for the force by gravity. Remember, force by gravity, or weight, is just given by mg, which is 98 newtons. So subbing these terms into Newton's second law within the y-axis, we'll see. This equation, which relates T1, T2, and the weight to one another within the y-axis. But again, you'll notice we have two unknowns within this equation. But what this has left us with now are two equations and two unknowns. At this point, the physics or the engineering of this problem is over with. And all we're trying to do now is solve two equations with two unknowns. Now, some people find this result where T1 is greater than T2 uh, to be a little bit counterintuitive, but I want you to realize that's the way the math works out. And ultimately, all we've done here is we've said the net force horizontally and vertically was zero, and then allowed Newton's second law to spit out our two results. So this is the block hanging from two cables problem. I hope you found this useful. And on that note, that's all for now.